My name is Sam Delahaye. I'm a professional piano vocalist. I'm a qualified music therapist. And my, um, my biggest passion is to help you express yourself and find deep healing through learning to sing, learning to play the piano, and learning to songwrite. And in today's tutorial, I'm gonna be sharing with you how you can learn a simple cover, even if you're an absolute beginner and you can't read a note of music. I don't read any music, and today I'm gonna to share with you a few tips on how you can learn a cover pretty quickly. So the first thing is, is let's just explain what a cover is. A cover is a song that another artist has played. So if I was to say an original song, normally it's a song um, th that an artist would have, have sung. Whereas an original, uh, a cover song, a cover song is a song that an, an original artist would have sung. Um, whereas an original song is a song that you write yourself. So today we're gonna be looking at someone else's song. And in particular, Sarah McLaughlin's song, Angel, because I absolutely love this song. So I'm gonna share with you, first of all, what chords are, because you may not have a Scooby-Doo even, what a, cl a core, a, a core, a chord is. And a chord is very, very simple notes that we play on the piano, and we only need four chords to play most songs. So I'm gonna share with you my hands. And wait me a second while I just get this up. So you should be able to see my piano. You should be able to see the 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 chord sheet. This is what we call a chord sheet, which has got the the words, and it's got like a D M, an F, a C, an F A G. These are all your chords. Now, songs are broken up, as you know, into verse, into chorus, but a lot of songs are just four chords the whole way through. Now, today's song isn't that, but I've put it in the key of C so that it's nice and simple. So if you're a beginner and you're learning chords, first of all, you wanna get your thumb, twiggle that thumb here, and we're gonna put it on C here. And then we're gonna move our little middle finger and we're gonna put it on E. And then we're gonna move our little finger here and we're gonna put it on G. So that would be your C chord. Now in Express Your Truth and Piano Vocal Success, I name these as like claw chords and triangle chords. That's my main program that I sell. Um, but for today, we're just gonna be learning um, a few of these claw chords. Okay? In fact, the whole of this song is with claw chords, which is great. So it's this kind of pattern, down, up, down, up, down, up. So we have our C. If we take our hand and we have our wrist, we're gonna move our C up here to F. So can you see it's exactly the same pattern, but we're just moving it up to F. And then we're gonna move it down to D minor. And then we're gonna move it back up to F. And then we're gonna move it to C. So can you see it's the same pattern? And that's what I love about chords. It's like you don't have to be a virtuoso in playing the piano to accompany your voice. You just need to know a few chords. Now, let me see if I can get a chat. I'm not sure if I can get a chat going here. Um, da, 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 da. Is there a chat? Let's see. Oh, this is so difficult. You know, with anything that you learn, it's really difficult to to start off with, but that's the same thing. It's like learning to play the piano, it is difficult and you're gonna make loads of mistakes. So I call them mustakes because I think it's really important that we, we make must stakes. Okay, I cannot see the chat. I cannot see where you are. Um, so I'm just gonna continue with this. And if you've got any comments or any questions, just put them in the, the comments underneath this video and I will reply to them afterwards. So what we're gonna do, in fact, let me just see if I can record this as well. Okay. Okay. So we're recording this as well as we are streaming, which is perfect, just in case. Just in case, because that's happened to me many times. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're going to learn the chord. So as I said, I've shown you my C chord, which is this chord. Then we're gonna move to the D minor. Then we're gonna move to the F. And then we're gonna move back to the C. Okay, now above the piano, we have the chord sheet here. And you can see you've got lyrics. So you've got to spend all your time waiting for the second chance for a break that would make it okay. Now, if you don't know this song, 
obviously there's no music so you can't you can't learn the melody via reading the music you have to go online onto youtube and just type in angels by sarah mclaughlin listen to that song a few times until you learn the melody now if you're struggling with pitch it's really important that you learn the melody really well okay so sometimes if i'm learning a song and i've never heard it before it may take me up to half an hour of literally listening to that song over and over and over and over and over again until i get the melody until it's kind of really stuck in my head so the first thing is you need to know the melody and then what we're going to do is we're just going to play these chords so i'm playing the root note the c and the bass and as you can see at the top it's got intro so we've got a c and then you've got an F over C. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep that C in the left hand, but I'm gonna move that right hand to the C here. And then I'm gonna go back to the C, and then I'm gonna move that C to here. So it's gonna sound something like this with the pedal, okay? So we're gonna go, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, Four, one. Now it's actually a different time signature, but you're just getting the idea of just doing those changes. Okay, so the, as you can see now, you've got the first line, spend all your time, and then the chord D minor comes in. So it would sound something like this. Spend all your time waiting. And you can see that I'm playing the D at the same time as I'm playing the D minor, which is the claw chord here. And you can see above waiting, you've got the D minor, D minor. So spend all your time waiting for that. And then just above second, you've got that F, second chance. Then above the break, for a break that. And then we've got the F again with an A. So we're gonna play the A in the bass and the F in the, in the right hand. For a break that would make it. Then we've got the G, okay. There's always some reason to feel not good enough. And it's hard at the end of the day. Okay, so can you see what I'm doing? I am playing, these are just basic chords, basic claw chords, yeah? It will take you maybe half an hour to learn those chords. And then I'm bringing it in with the voice straight away. So one of the biggest questions I get asked from my students is, I cannot, I can play the piano, I can sing, I can't sing and play together. And the problem is, is that that's a skill set in itself. So you really have to start at the very beginning. Literally, when you're working out the chords, you need to be singing. You don't have to sing the melody. Sorry, you do have to sing the melody, but you don't even have to sing the words. You could just do this. Da -da 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 -da. Da -da -da -da. Sorry. So you're just like singing a little bit on top of the voice, on top of the piano. But the reason is, is so that you're getting the rhythm because if you don't sing at the same time as play, you're in trouble because it's, you've got a really difficult rhythm going on there. Okay. So we've we've kind of covered simple chords. This is Angel, but you can learn chords for any song you want like and a lot of these chords are in a lot of different songs in fact let me see if i've got any other so any other songs here that i can show you so for example another love here we go another love so if i show you this another love we've got c these again are all claw chords apart from the b minor so another love we've got here c which you know then we've got e minor then we've got a minor so can you see the same pattern So it would go something like this. I want to take you somewhere so you I know I care, but it's so cold and I don't know where. I think that's the right chord. Actually, let me just work that out. So again, sometimes you may not know what the note to come in is. And that can be quite tricky with chords. So what I would do is I would always play the introduction first. So I might do something like this. So I've got the E minor. Now I'm doing inversions, okay? So for those of you that are beginners, you're going, what's that chord? Don't worry, this is an advanced thing. But I know this song and I know the introduction. So, so. Something along those.
Okay, so I've already played the melody. Yeah, the melody's come. Oh, so you're gonna go this. I wanna take you somewhere so you know I care. But it's so cold and I don't know where. I bought you daffodils and pretty strings. But they won't flower like they did last spring. Now, it's actually quite high for me, this song. Can you hear that's just slightly a little bit too high? But if you're a beginner, there's nothing better than playing the C chord. Yeah, there's nothing better than playing the C major scale. All those chords are in the white notes. Yeah, so if you're a beginner piano player and you just want to learn a song, like you might just want to sing it a little bit higher because it's in a better key. However, if you are a competent piano player, I would then suggest lowering it so that you're in a more suitable key for your voice. Okay, so that's just something to think about. Now, so say you've got your chords and some of you might be like, well, that's a bit boring all the time. All I'm doing is playing those chords. So I might know how to do that. Well, this is where we need to have in different piano voicings. So like the left hand. So for example, you might want to do an arpeggio. So an arpeggio is this. So it's like long, a long kind of run up of notes. Normally the fifth, the third, so it might be like a, so we're doing the arpeggio of the C, we'd do a C, a G, a C. So, so it's like a fifth. So this is the first, this is the fifth, and then this is the first again, yeah? And then we might do this. So it might sound like this. I wanna take you somewhere on no but it's so cold and I don't know where. So I'm doing I'm doing an arpeggio. This is just something rough, but I'm doing an arpeggio. You might want to just do like an open left hand. So I wanna take you somewhere. You, so so look look at my hands. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I want to take you somewhere so you know I care But it's so cold and I don't know where So again, I'm having a bit more of a groove because I've got that one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. You could even do passing notes, so you might want to do this, so... What passing notes are is like you're playing the note before the the kind of the destination. So the destination would be C and then the E. So I wanna take you somewhere. So can you see what I'm doing there? I'm adding that D. I wanna take you somewhere so you know I care, but it's so cold and I don't go, don't go away. So I'm adding like a note before or a note afterwards. That's a passing note. And then there's like there's loads of other left hand techniques that you can learn. So, but another way you could do it is you could do inversions with the right hand. So you're not just playing those, those, those classic root triads, but you're actually doing the first inversion. So it might sound something like this. I wanna take you. So I'm doing from the root to the second inversion. So I wanna take you somewhere where you, you know I can, but it's so cold and I don't know. Again, I'm going from the first inversion, second inversion. So there are so many different ways that you can build up your instrumental underneath your voice. But here's the thing. What I would really encourage you to do is to listen to the original. Okay, I'm not going to do that because of copyright issues right now, listening to um, listen to Another Love. But I do have a, a Spotify link, which I'll send you, which has some really good piano vocal uh, tracks that you can you can look at, have a listen to the piano arrangements. It's actually quite simple. So like when Tom O'Dell starts, he goes, he literally just does a chord. I want to take you somewhere so you know I care. But it's so cold and I don't know where. I bought you daffodils and pretty strings. But they won't flower like they did last spring. So he really makes it very sparse, which allows the voice to be seen and to be heard. And really, so that that's how you play a cover song. I'm just looking at my notes here. That's how you play a cover song. I've brought in about, make sure you always start with the voice. Always, always, always start with the voice as well as singing and play, like playing and singing at the same time from the very, very beginning. It will be harder initially, 
but it will be a lot easier in the long run. Um, and so just to, just to clarify, like with the covers, you know, the verse may just be some solid chords, then the chorus may be some arpeggios, the second verse may be some solid chords with inversions, a bit of improvisation, um, and then the second chorus, there may be some kind of groovier, um, some, some kind of groovier uh, left hand, so... a much busier left hand but what you want to make sure is that you don't make it too busy and you can play around with this like there's no right or right or wrong way of doing it there really isn't and that's what I love about playing chords is there no there's no right or wrong way and if you're a beginner you know you may start with learning one song with arpeggios in actual fact I've got a free tutorial that I'll put in the link below which I teach you how to sing and play perfect by Inchirin and I'm teaching you arpeggios like it's arpeggios the whole way through it's www.thesingerspiano.com forward slash perfect and literally you play arpeggios the whole way through learn the arpeggios get really good at them and then you can bring in some kind of groovy left hand bass get really good at that then bring in some inversions get good at that and it's really just about layering the, those piano arrangements till eventually it just becomes second nature so listen guys i hope you've enjoyed this first live tutorial i really hope i'm live i cannot see any chat but listen if you've got any questions write them in the comments and I will answer them straight away for you when I come off. And hopefully, if this works, I will see you live next week. And if you've enjoyed this, please subscribe to my channel and I will be giving you loads more free content. All right, guys, I will speak to you later.